Eric here with Perry Hill Farms. Little chicken coop maintenance today. So got off work on Friday. I'm gonna do some of this while my wife's still at work and uh, my daughter's uh, working today. But I'm gonna get in this chicken coop, basically uh, clean it up some. Uh, I know we've only had our chickens for a few months, but I don't wanna let my chicken coop just get filthy dirty. I don't want to deal with, you know, a lot of bugs, uh, mites, and things like that that can bother the chicken. So as you know, I've built them a, a dusting box for a diatomaceous earth. And I just want to clean the ground real good. I want to clean out, of, out the pen real well, put some fresh shavings in. Also, my goal is to, to get the chickens roosting inside the house. Since I made two roosts, one in the chicken run and one in the house, uh, as they've were young, they started roosting outside in the run. And I should have done it earlier, but I didn't. Just lazy, I guess. Uh, but now they want to roost outside, and those that can't fit on the roost just sit on the ground out there. So I would like to get them to roost in the chicken house so that we don't have problems with predators and stuff like that at night. They can get up in the house, kind of be safe. They won't be seen. Uh, so in order to do that, I, I took the roost down out of the run, except for the swing. I've taken the roost out of the chicken house for the minute while I clean it. Once I'm done, I'm actually going to put these roosts back up, leave that one off, and then each night, if I have to, I'll pick the chickens up out of the run, put them in the house, and I'll cover the house door so they don't jump out. If I can do that a few nights in a row, hopefully that'll keep the chickens coming in on the inside roost so that when winter comes uh, and it's cold, or we have any predators come by, it'll be at night, it'll be a little easier for them to be safe up off the ground in the chicken house. So I'm gonna time lapse this video, let you watch um, this progress, and then I'll give you a little information after that's done. Okay, so that was the inside of the chicken coop here in South Alabama. It's 90-something degrees. But uh, inside of the chicken coop basically took out the, the dust, the poop, straw, shavings, put it in a wheelbarrow. We'll use that to compost. Put in, uh, blew it out. I uh, got some of that stuff all over me and then put some fresh shavings in. I'm going to have to get a little bit more shavings uh, to add to it and I'll get that tonight. Um, but the inner part is, is done. We're going to switch around, go to the coop and under the run and then I'll also um, clear out the nesting boxes. Our chickens are not laying yet, but uh, I'm going to just check those nesting boxes make sure those look okay and put some diatomaceous earth on them. So I'm going to move move our position and get to working on the coop. Okay, so we've moved our position. Now we're on the front of the coop where the chicken run is. And uh, that's the, the roost over there that I took down. And I'm gonna get in here and scratch this front part out and then I'll have to crawl under there and scratch out what I can, get a lot of the, the straw and the, the poop. I'm gonna put it in some buckets, add to my compost. And then we'll put some diatomaceous earth down. I'm gonna take my chicken run down uh, and try to clean it off as well. Try to keep it somewhat clean. So, as you can tell, it's it's warm in South Alabama. But we've got the, I've got everything scratched out. It's just raw dirt now. And I climbed under there. And one other good thing is, you know, I have my water 
that comes under there my feeder and it gives me a chance to check those and make sure they're functioning like I should. I noticed a little spot that was more wet than the other. I thought, well, maybe there's a leak, but there's not. I think that's just one of the ones the chickens like to use the most. But I test all those waters, make sure they're working. And um, I'll just put some more shavings over there. Maybe that'll keep them from uh, you know, overusing that one. But we're going to put some diatomaceous earth down in here and I'll go some sprinkle some in the shavings in the in the house and then I'll come out and also bring a little bit of straw and I'll put some straw in the bottom of the chicken pen then I'll mount the roost back in the main roost and then tonight uh, when it gets dark the chickens will start to come in and I'll mount, uh, mount the walkway back up and hopefully they'll go in and roost if not I get to climb back in there and hand pick the chickens and throw them in there so. all right so actually I'm going to show you how we're going to do this diatomaceous earth. Kyle, my neighbor, he has a little puffer. Instead of me throwing it by hand, it kind of goes like this and we'll we'll just sprinkle the ground with that and I'll show, demonstrate that in here. And then I'll do a time lapse so you can just watch the rest of the video. But I'm just going to Raise it out nice and evenly. trusty mat to keep me from getting too dirty and wet. before I go back in there. And now I'll climb under it and I won't let you watch that. I'll put on time lapse. got the chicken pen finished put some straw down got the run back up the only thing I left had to do is put the roosting poles in uh, on the inside and uh, the chickens are out dusting I'm gonna get a little video of that for you and show you what they're what they're doing since they're getting to get out today so they got out today and they found them a nice little paste of dust and that's what chickens do when they want to dust their feathers and get you a good video of that. You get in there and scratch and throw that dirt on themselves. See how she's throwing that dirt up on herself and then they do that up under that 
chicken house as well, and they'll do a little bit more since I got some diatomaceous earth in there. But they are loving some time roaming. And so that's a wrap on the chicken coop from Perry Hill Farms. God bless.